Okay, so what I'm going to attempt to do now is to create a quiz in Scratch um, so you can uh, have a go yourself. So I'm going to just, I'm just going to set up a plain background, but obviously you can choose to draw a background, add text, etc, etc. I'm going to keep this really simple um, and give you the, the, the opportunity to make it much more complex if you want to. So we'll delete the cat and I'm going to have this little fella as my question master. So I'll put him there. I might leave him, might make him a little bit smaller actually just to, just to actually just so that you can see how to do it. Um, and I'm going to rename him. I'm going to call him quiz master. And now I need some buttons, some multiple choice buttons. Now you can draw these yourself or whatever, but I'm actually going to uh, get these from the folder here. Now you've got button and button pressed, so uh, something that you could do is uh, do a switch of a use a script to switch the costume. So when they click, when you click on a button, it looks like it's pressed down. I'm not going to do that, but that's something that uh, you could do to extend yourself. Okay, let just edit the button because I want to have some text on it to say which is button A, B or C, multiple choice quiz. So that's button A. I'm going to rename that as well. Just double click up there and then you'll get it. So button A. It's much easier to work with named sprites than it is to sprite one, sprite two. Uh, duplicate. So right click on the button, duplicate the button, click on it, edit it. Uh, click on the text tool and you can just delete what's there. Create button B and name it button B. And I'm going to have three buttons, so there's another one. So button C, edit, click on the text. I know I'm working quite fast here, um, there's quite a lot to do, so please, you know, obviously use the pause button to pause the video and rewind, have another look at it. Actually, I don't think you can rewind, can you? Oh, no, you can rewind, so have a look. So, there's our three buttons. Now, the code, what we're going to need are um, certain variables in this quiz. Um, we're going to need a score, definitely. Click OK, and yeah, we want the score to be showing up there. Um, and we want one that's called clicked. Okay, because that's something we're going to use within our in our uh, code, but I don't want clicked showing on the uh, screen. So I'm just going to untick that box and it will disappear. And the other variable I want is going to be called answer. Click OK. And again, I'm not going to use that. I don't want answer on there. So what we are going to do is the scripts are going to be. When button A is clicked, set click to 1. Okay, so that's so the, the uh, computer is going to record the click on the button. Now we're going to set the answer to 1. So what we're going to have to remember is button A is going to be answer 1, button B is going to be answer 2, and button C is going to be answer 3. So what I can do, I've made that uh, little bit of script there. Now, rather than having to just redo it, I know it's only short, but if you drag it and wait until you see the little grey box appears on button B, drop it on button B. If you click on button B now, you'll see that the code is there. And actually, it has st it's changed to when button B is clicked. To so click to 1, yes, set answer though to 2. We can drag that, drop it on to C. When button C is clicked, set clicked to 1 and answer to 3. So I'm going to, I like to do these tutorials in short, uh, short tutorials at a time. So I'm going to leave it like that at the moment. So the little bit of script now is on the buttons and all of the rest of the code goes on our quiz master. So if you set yours up like that first, then uh, we can carry on. 